In the nation's capital, U.S. citizens are preparing to vote for the party candidates for the upcoming 2016 election. One main debate in both parties is what does a U.S. citizen or potential U.S. citizen look like? In a general education philosophies class, students from all backgrounds sit at their desk ready to learn. One student eager about his education is freshman Shaleen Shah, an international student from Nepal, Pakistan. It's a new experience. Like I've stayed in my country for I don't know my entire life. Shaleen is just one of the many international students studying in the United States on student visas. With the 2016 elections approaching, new immigration policies have the potential to change depending on which nomination hopeful wins the election. Party nominees differ on their reform programs to immigration. Democrat Hillary Clinton believes in further expanding immigration policies created by President Obama, while Republican Donald Trump seeks to achieve his slogan, Make America Great Again, by creating new restrictions and policies for immigrants seeking citizenship. Before any immigration reforms occur, candidates must win the primary elections, then the presidency. In the meantime, the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service has tips on their website for anyone interested in becoming a citizen. While he is unsure if in four years he will return home or prepare to apply for citizenship after graduation, Shaleen has wise words of wisdom for those seeking citizenship. Like, try and figure out what you want to do, like, what kind of life you would want to set up, and would you really make the sacrifice of, like, leaving your home? In Washington, for News Vision, I'm Jalen Anderson.